Welcome to the Lighthouse Theater, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Alexander Usyk, six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. And across the ring from him, Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. You want to get out of the way because when you've got a brawler that's in your face that wants to walk through you like a truck, you've just got to use your speed, use that reach, use that height, and keep them off you because if they get up close and personal, you're going to have no ribs left. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. The reach, how on earth? How are you gonna get through that jab? This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Fighting out of the blue corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. No doubt about it. This was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. And there's the bell to start the round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. This is such an amazing theater. So many great concerts have been performed here, but nothing quite like what we're going to see here. Todd, I love theaters. For all these reasons, you can hear everybody in the crowd. You can hear the punches. The punches actually echoes. If you're that party coming in, and you know you're in such an, an intense atmosphere, you know the pressure is going to be on. Big whiff with the right hook. These two are the perfect dance partners. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Failing to score with that right hook. fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, that every twitch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Switch on. 
It's your buck. I need you to go back out there. I need you to win this round, okay? In mind. Get this block from back together. Don't worry about that round. Don't be smart. Just get your shots up and don't give him anything. Forget about that round. It was a bad round. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. Don't worry. You to focus on what you're doing. You don't want to lose this fight, do you? Come on. You've let him back in. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You'd like to see more jabs. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. You would not want to be hit by this guy, trust me. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter puncher is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. You got to like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. That hook just can't find the target. and forth they go. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Three. Three. You've been coasting this fight, and then... Let him get back in, and they should better than this, King. Go back out and let him win the ring. Get back behind your jack. Face it. Get your rhythm back, and then we go again. Face him in the round back. Take away that confidence. Right, you're much better. He's not in your league. Come on, switch. And you're switching off. I need you to switch back on. Get focused. Get your mind back on the job. Right, let's get out there. Get your boxing back together. But I need you to go back out there. I need you to win this round. Get the referee calling for seconds out. Right back into the action. Get your shots off. Don't give him anything. Go back and win the round, right? It's only one. Five. They ring the bell, and here we go. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Obvious who the bigger, stronger fighter is. Let's see if they use it to their advantage. You've got to make your opponent fight your kind of fight. They've got to get into your kind of argument, your kind of dance. Just miss with that hook. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Those counter punches have to hurt. A very competitive round here so far. When you're fighting a massive heavyweight like this, you can't go toe to toe. You gotta stick and move and use angles. When you find somebody so big, this is when you've got to stick to your game. You deviate, you're out of there. Men step back for just a moment. And he wasn't ready.
ready for that counter punch. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Just misses with that left uppercut. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. <sighs> you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bow, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Jump all over him. He's ready to come. Jump all over him. Mix it up. There's no gas in the tank no more. You, you're so close, kid. Come on. Bang it. Jump all over him. Ready to go now. Jump all over him. Ready to go now. Jump all over him. Mix it up. Body neck. Be smart. Change your angles. So close, kid. Come on. Bang him downstairs. Jab. All over him. Mix it up. Body and head. Be smart. Change your angles. Will the fight. He's nearly down. This kid ain't got no gas in the tank no more. Go now. Jump all over. He's ready to go now. Jump all over. Mix it up. Jab. Jab. That's what I'm talking about. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Jump no more. You, you're so close, kid. Come on. Bang him downstairs. Jab. Jab. That's what... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. A swing and a miss with the right hook. They both want a knockout, you can tell. These are heavyweights, but I tell you what, that hand speed and footwork, they look like middleweights. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're gonna find out. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've gotta respect both of them more than happy. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Good counter punching. Missed him with that uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. You getting soft on me? Start gathering your pace and win the round back. I need you to switch back on, get focused, get your mind back on the job. Let's get out there, get your boxing back together. Just take the round off, win the round switch up, get this boxing back together. You don't want to. You're starting to make mistakes and you're switching off. I need you to switch. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. I need you to focus on what you're doing. You don't want to lose this fight, do you? Come on. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. These punches coming from every angle. Well, 
Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Good counter punching. He threw a punch and just got countered. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. That hook was off target. Nice counter. Nobody home with that hook. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. It's so hard to watch you out box a fight and beat them on points. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Switch off completely. Get your mind back in his tracks. I need you to switch back up. Let him back into the fight. You're way better than this guy. You're way better. You got complacent. The fight's not over yet. Let's reset. Forget about that round. It was a bad round. Come on, we're getting back into the fight. You're much better than this one, kid. Now listen, kid. I need you to go back out there. I need you to win. Get your boxing back together and put it back on in the next round. Just box, be smart, get your shots off. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Go back out there and win this. You've lost. Do not worry about it, kid. You've done all your work all the way through camp. Get this... They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off a very tough round, let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Deciding to let it all hang out here in this round. Misses. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've been in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And this is incredible action from both of these heavyweights. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Swing and a miss with the hook. Cut misses. And that hook misses. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it was like two different leagues. I need you to go back out. What are you doing? Come on, switch it on. That jab, just boxing. Just be smart. Now, it's a tougher fight, and he's going to be confident. You want to take that confidence away. What? It's only one round that you've lost. Don't worry about it. Right, let's get out of there. Get your boxing back together. Listen, be smart when you go out. 
You're starting to make mistakes, and you're switching off. I need you to switch back on. Get fucking around. You got complacent. The fight's not over. I need you to focus on what you're doing. Back, and now you're waiting back in for it. Get out there and switch. In this place. Go back out there and win the round. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Get back out. Let's get out there. Get your boxing back together. Just take the round off. Win the round on your jab. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Beautiful counter punch. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. The only fear you have with this heavyweight is has he punched himself out? This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Incredible firepower from both of these heavyweights. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. He scores with the counter. That hook just can't find the target. Uppercut just missed. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Down goes Fury. I want to see that again, but from a different angle. I need to see that again. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep all over him, just don't even jump all over him. Mix it up. You have no gas in the tank, no more. You, you're so close, kid. Come on. Bang it. Jump all over him. Ready to go now. Jump all over him. Close, kid. Come on. Banging downstairs. Jab. All over him. Mix it up. Body and head. Be smart. Change your angles. Drill the fight. He's nearly down. This kid ain't got no gas in the tank no more. Go now. Jump all over him. He's ready to go now. Jump all over him. Mix it up. Jab. Jab. That's what I'm talking about. Time winding down as we get set for another round. He's ready to go now. Jump. No more. You, you're so close, kid. Come on. Banging downstairs. Jab. Jab. That's what... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. <laughs> How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin. The big Ukrainian in big trouble. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. 
Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Usyk might go down here. What an upset. <laughs> We've avoided catastrophe there. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Starting to take some deep breaths now, but still fighting hard. That left hook missed. But at what cost? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, these scorecards were all over the place, but in the end, I think the right athlete won. It could have gone either way, and it's hard. You know, you're going to have people arguing. The fans for one and the fans for the other say, our far to one. Split decision was fair. Down to the T, down to the wire. These guys put it on the line. Split decision is fair.